Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're looking at the 81 kg category, and the winner for that is Grigashvili. First up, he's fighting the Hungarian judoka, Angvari, who seems pretty strong, pretty tall for the uh, division. But Grigashvili does well, he's quite a fast fighter, likes to fight off the sleeve, and he's kind of a you know, grip and go kind of fighter. He also has uh, some pretty good Nyawaza and obviously the classic uh, Georgian Judo as well. And we're going to see a little bit of his Nyawaza coming up here where the Hungarian fighter, he actually gets a bit of an injury, maybe a little bit of a concussion, just gets cut across the eye as uh, Grigashvili Brings a leg over for an armbar. And this is the exchange here. So he goes down for a kataguruma. And then Griashvili is very quick to get on top of that. And the foot right across the face. I think it's just blood dripping. Maybe he thought it was coming from his nose, but it was actually his eye. But anyway, Griashvili is into the third round. Remember to subscribe, guys. So against the Italian fighter here. Esposito and uh, Griashvili being a left-handed fighter he's currently uh, holding onto the sleeve instead of taking a more traditional grip defends the Seoinega well and then this is the final exchange of the fight so Griashvili finally gets a, a grip that he likes on the belt now over the top stepping in for a sumigaishi it's quite obvious what he was going for, but just couldn't stop it. Quick match and into the quarterfinals. So against the Russian now, Kubestov. Nice foot sweep and not quite sure what happened here. Just kind of ducked under. Maybe he wanted to avoid the passivity warning. So drops in for a Seo Nage, two hands on one side of the lapel. As I said, he, he likes to grip and go. And I think this is where he's had a lot of success uh, lately. He, you know, often avoids shidos. He doesn't have the cleanest technique. But, you know, just being active like this leads to a wazari. And then he's up a swore. You know, still being active, forcing the Russian to, you know, work harder than him. And if Grigashvili is the faster fighter, you know, which seems to be the case here, he's going to win these situations. Time's going to run out and he's going to walk away with the win. So here we go, breaking grips, staying active, defending, dodging. You know, he's up a point, eight seconds to go. Now the Russian has to chase him down, but nothing's happening here. And off to the semi-final. So in the semi-final, he's up against Lee from Korea. And quite a good match this one. Doesn't go to golden score. And it was Adi and Ipon in it for Grigashvili. So here we go again, grip and go, grabs the sleeve and then two hands on one side, comes in with a nice foot sweep. I don't think he's intending to uh, throw, but you know, he's just trying to disrupt, give people something to think about. And there's that big Georgian hand over the top, but Lee does well, and then Grigashvili does well himself to get out of it. Goes for the counter here, but uh, Lee's right hand is there to post. And this is Sumigaishi attempt, but Lee defends well. So here's the Wazari. Just manages to get him down to the ground and 
roll over. Pointing at Lee's belt, but Lee doesn't care. And as he comes forward, goes in for the Tomoenage. Not much time on the clock, and Lee was really chasing it, but... Great semi-final as he moves into the final. And this is against De Witt from the Netherlands. Uh, he had a great fight against Sagi Muki. I highly recommend you check that one out. Goes in, gets him to the ground, and then submits him. Now De Witt, he looks really big for the category. A lot of forward pressure. But Grigashvili, he's just active. You know, he likes attacking off that sleeve. So here he drops in for a nice Seoinage. Rolls him over. And he does well to defend here against DeWitt's Nawaza. Now DeWitt with those long legs did something similar to Sagimuki. But Grigashvili, he's quick to stand to his feet. Very quick fighter. Speed, speed's important. Moves in for a big Uranage there. Scores a Wazari, but they go to the video and decide, nope, wasn't enough. So a very Georgian grip here, around the triceps, now around the head. Goes in for a big hip throw, but DeWitt does well. Bit of a different strategy here. Earlier on in the fight, he was uh, more about the sleeve, and now he's taking big grips on the back. There's a bit of a head collision there. And they reset, and this is the final exchange. So he gets a Wazari, and then forces him, takes the back. And earlier on, he got an armbar submission. So we know he's good on the ground. DeWitt's pretty good on the ground himself. He's controlling that outside knee, but as he loses the grip and rolls over, he rolls straight into an armbar. And Grigashvili gets the tap. Blows a kiss. And a brilliant win for Grigashvili. Alright guys, so sub, like the video, and uh, there'll be more tomorrow, and obviously I'll be doing my top people on videos, so make sure to hit the bell so you know when that comes out, and I'll see you guys later.